Whoosh, Bonafide Hustler here, and today, more thrifting, more things sold. So let's get right to it. What's going on, guys and gals? Chris, the Bonafide Hustler, coming to you live from the inside of the Bod Damn Gym. Yes, are you following Bod Damn yet? Are you? You should be. Go check it out, it's my other channel. So if you picked up from the last video, this green Patagonia thing sold for 80 bucks. I spent around $11 for it, so that's neat. We gotta get that thing packed up into the post office. Um, other things I picked up recently that I didn't show on a vlog yet, some really amazing taped seams, Burton, right? Snowboard pants, those are 10 bucks. You know, these things in peak season can sell upwards of around $100. These are in really good condition, probably been used one time. And uh, taped seams are really good because it's almost like Gore-Tex type material inside. As you can see, the seams are taped. See the tape right there? So pretty neat. This one has a little flannel interior for the booty. And it's a really good condition snowboard pant. Also found this Lynx and Kings uh, golf bag. It's kind of like a weekender bag, but Lynx and Kings is a golf leather company kind of thing. So pretty nice. And uh, this was 10 bucks out the door. And I believe this will sell for around one to 140. Some bags to bucks right there. Of course, can't forget about this transistor 305 that I picked up for 10 bucks. It's by Grundig right there. It's a solid state AM FM radio, really good condition. I mean, look at this thing. It's like sent from back in the day. So I can like listen to my own videos maybe. Maybe I can tune into the Bonafide Hustler AM channel. No, um, it's a pretty cool item. I think it'll sell for north of $100 pretty quick. And then of course we have this Electra, amazing, it's called a Sprocket One bike. Uh, Electra is a good cruiser bike company for adults, but this one right here, seafoam color. Uh, it was $10 or actually maybe a little bit less, could have been $8. And I think it'll sell for around 60 plus locally. Pretty cool bike. Got a coaster brake, and it has a handbrake right here, as you can see. Pretty neat bike. That's a good brand. Make sure you know about it. Whoosh, time to get this thing packed up and off to the post office. Also got to bring something to UPS, which is a pair of carbon fiber speed skates that sold for 150, I think it was 150. Bought them for 40 bucks off of a Nextdoor ad or maybe a Facebook Marketplace ad. I'll flash a picture right here. Neat. We gotta get you out. We have to get you out right now. You're gonna go into a box or a bag or something like that. It's time to go to the booth to do a small drop, literally like a 30 second drop. And uh, these are the things that we're gonna be dropping off at the booth today. Letters, yeah. Time to drop these letters off. They spell Kate, I think. Here's the K, as you can see. These are pretty cool. Nothing crazy. I paid $8.65 for all four of them at a goodwill. I'm going to be asking around $50 bucks a piece for them in the booth. With the commission that the booth takes out, I'll be walking with about $45 a piece on them. So, you know, I'm taking $8.65 and I'm going to turn it into about $180 in profit. Or $170 in profit. Something like that. So that's pretty good. Yes, sir. So, K. Okay. I think this is the A. Here's the T right here. And the E is right there. Very cool. We'll throw them in the booth and then we can get along with the day. Then turn left. All right, so the truth be told, I'm kind of under some time constraints today. I'm actually on my way now to go film something for my other YouTube channel, which is called Bod Dam. Um, go check that out. There's also an Instagram behind the scenes for that. But yeah, I'm actually going to be filming a booty video today. Yeah, I'm going to be filming a vlog about butts. How to get your butt in shape, basically. This vlog today is kind of geared towards women, and uh, it's gonna be basically like the five best booty exercises that you can do. So I'm gonna be partnering up with someone else in town called MFit, and we are going to film that video right now with help from my friend. Um, so yeah, I got the cameras in the back, the tripod, all that kind of stuff, and uh, a bunch of scripts right here. We're gonna be filming two videos, and those videos should be going live next week on the Bot Damn channel. So if you're down, to get your butt in shape, then we'll go watch those two videos. But outside of that, that's my next thing. I gotta film butt videos. Cool. Okay, so I didn't find anything thrifting that day. We're a couple days down the road now. 
um, actually more like four days down the road. And I did find some things in the past four days. My parents came in town for the holidays, all that kind of stuff. So um, let's go with the first thing that actually did sell. And you saw earlier in this video, this Lynx and Kings bag actually sold for 135. Got to box it up, get it out of here and ship it out tomorrow. Today while thrifting, found these awesome roller derby M4 Vipers. Uh, these were, forget how much, like 15 maybe? I don't know. Yeah, 15 bucks and really good condition. You can tell with roller skates, and this is definitely an outdoor items to bucks kind of thing. But you can tell with roller skates when they haven't been used very much. First of all, I think they call them the, the brake or the bump stop or whatever. This one has very little wear on it. Plus everything's nice and shiny. And we have the grooves in the wheels right here. It's probably used one time and uh, they'll probably sell for right around 80 to to $100 right here. Yesterday while thrifting with my girlfriend for my birthday. That's right. Everyone wished me a happy birthday. I mean, if you want to, you can. But yeah, it was my birthday yesterday. I turned the big, take a guess, my age. You can go ahead and guess that down below. But, but we found this uh, J. Crew five bucks what a deal five bucks j crew quilted uh kind of like a layering vest this should sell between 80 and 100 dollars just because a little bit harder to find now you can't really go into the stores and get these anymore so this says size medium should be an easy sell for 80 to 100 bucks right there five bucks and it's probably going to be a first class rate that is awesome when my parents were in town we went to a goodwills a bunch of goodwills actually found this eagle creek uh like rolling suitcase little things probably an 18 inch or maybe a 20 but it's in really good condition i think this was six bucks out the door and this one should sell let me see how much this was yeah six bucks and this one should sell for right around i don't know 50 locally maybe a hundred on ebay it's an eagle creek as you can see right there great condition and yeah hoping for some good resale on this one right here those backs to bucks I'm telling you they definitely pay off i mean as you can see with that links and kings bag right there that one definitely paid off and i've only owned that thing for like a week so or actually maybe like 10 days other things i found today 10 bucks today this was a zero restriction gore-tex golfing pant right here probably used one or two times uh 10 bucks should sell for right around 75 to 100 dollars specialty wear golfing uh for rain and it's gore-tex which is amazing and you can see the gore-tex inner right there pretty awesome condition yeah first class rate i'm all about that i found this bower down um it's not vintage right it's kind of like a reissue but it's called bower down it's actually an original eddie bower kind of equipment uh down jacket and this is a tribute to the 1936 skyliner model right here and this one says eddie bower uh inventor eddie bower by whatever 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 right here attorneys but yeah, 1936 inspired down jacket. This is extra large, great condition. I mean, probably been used one time. Spent 15 on it, and this will probably sell between 100 and 200 dollars. That's my guess. I mean, it's an Eddie Bauer, which is not the greatest brand, but these Skyliner kind of tribute or true vintage Skyliner down jackets are definitely something to look out for. My parents were in town, we went to some more Goodwills, found this X-West Canton denim kind of rucksack slash bag right here. It's a drawstring kind of closure top. Really cool. Definitely vintage, uh, probably worth about a hundred bucks. What I like about this item is that I can put it in the booth too while I slap it on eBay. Um, I spent like 13 on this one, if I'm not mistaken. Great condition, I wouldn't be, uh, you know, kind of mad if I got stuck with this. If I can't get 50 bucks for it, you know, I think I really can sell it for around 100 bucks and maybe like 80 in the booth or something like that. Very one of a kind, very cool. I mean, look at that right there. That looks awesome. So yeah, bags to bucks again, striking hard. That looks cool. Denim bag, so nice. Nice thick denim, love it. Now something I found today that is really neat, too bad it's not vintage. Um, it's just a pity it's not vintage because if it was vintage, it'd probably sell for right around 200 to like maybe $400. But this is a Gildan right here. You can see the tag right there. So that basically means it's a little bit more on the current day side. Gildan makes hoodies, uh, sweatshirts, shirts. And if this was like an Oneida tea or Oneida tea or any one of those other kind of teas, uh, this would be worth some serious money. It's a hole, right? This is the Courtney Love 
alternative band from back in the day. Maybe she still makes music, I don't know. But Hole was a pretty big band in the late 90s, early 2000s. I wanna say early 2000s, actually. And this is a Gildan sweatshirt. You know, I think this is gonna sell between 50 and 100 bucks, and I spent not too much on it today. I don't even know where the tag is. Let's take a look here. Oh, I think it fell off, but it was around the corner. It was there on the corner, but I think this was like five bucks today. It's in good condition, no tears or rips or holes. Actually, maybe there is a hole. Oh no, there is a hole. I just saw the hole in the hole garment. Whoa, that's cool. I mean, kind of cool, kind of not cool. Oh, and I found another hole. There's a hole right here too. It's like a premonition cheddar find. I don't understand what's going wrong. Good thing it's not called rip or ripped or smelly. What? I just saw the hole in the whole garment. What? I stand by my original prediction. I still think 50 to 100 bucks. Definitely 50 bucks in the booth for sure. I want to get more into these kind of like band tees and uh, sweatshirts or things like that that are very throwback to like the 90s or the 80s or the early 2000s. I want to find more of that kind of stuff for my booth. So I'm buying just about everything that has that kind of cool look to it. It doesn't have to be band related. It can be band related, um, you know, NHRA related. It can be movie related, anything. If it has to do with some iconic stuff from back then, I want to make sure it's you know, hanging up in my booth at some point. So, ah, ah. Why do you have to have a hole? Why? That's not a good birthday gift. That's not, but it's still like, it didn't send me back too much. Can't believe I paid for a hole in a hole. Wow. Now I don't feel whole. That's not good. Okay, so it's like the next day and I wanna go do a hot shot thrifting, which for the new people that are maybe watching this video, a hot shot to me is, you know, a really concentrated effort of seeing a bunch of thrift stores, basically. So I'm gonna try to take the camera around with me and uh, hopefully I can vlog a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go do that for about two, two and a half hours and then I'm gonna ride my bike and like a nice little trail. But I do want to uh, get out there and see if I can find some cool stuff today. Now, one of the things I picked up a couple days ago, which is a stellar deal, it was 125, uh, talked down from 150. I have found this on Facebook Marketplace on a Sunday. And um, yeah, I bought it within hours of, you know, arranging the deal. Paid cash. This right here is a specialized aerial. It's a pretty nice bike, actually. It's, I think, a 2020 model, which is even better. Disc brakes, right? So if you got bikes to bucks, you kind of know about disc brakes and just the current geometry of this bike in general. It's a hybrid slash cross type bike. It's awesome front shock with lockout. Um, so this aerial right here, since there's a COVID bike shortage technically, probably sell between four and $600, which is great. So I'll probably list this thing in a week or something like that. Um, a lot of times I don't like to list something immediately after I buy it just because, I don't know, it just, I don't want the person that sold it to me to look at that, look and just see that I'm charging like way more. And I have a fair amount of bikes in inventory, so if I wait a week, it's not a big deal. Now, something interesting that this bike came with, um, and I took it off and I put it on my other bike, was a like a lock carrier. But that's not the important part. The important part is the lock that was in the carrier is a really cool lock. Check this out. This is an Abus Bordeaux lock. And if you go to Amazon and look for the Abus Bordeaux lock with the combination, right? There's a key one and a combination one. But a Bordeaux lock is a you know, foldable lock, right? It's really, really cool. And this lock, strangely enough, on Amazon is around $80 alone. It's a pretty awesome lock. The one that uses the keys is a closer to like $100, like $111 uh, Amazon Prime kind of thing. But a Bordeaux lock is not cheap. It's a great, great bike lock. And uh, yeah, this was sitting on that bike, so I took it off. It was kind of like right there. And I kept it which is awesome. That's one of the things like if you resell bikes, you sometimes end up with like really interesting pedals and Brooks saddles and uh, you know, neat things that you can take off that won't really affect the resale at all. And I just keep it for myself, which is great. So I have a whole bunch of locks here at the house that I've pulled off of bikes. I have really interesting seats that I've pulled off of bikes. This one didn't come with an interesting seat, so there was no reason to swap it. But you know, bikes to bucks are great. They are uh, obviously local things that you would want to resell. And um, if you live in a town that has bike paths and has kind of like a biking vibe to it, then you gotta get into bikes um, because that's literally one of the main things that I do sell locally. Uh, but you have to look at Facebook Marketplace like a hawk. I check Facebook Marketplace on the weekends 
like eight to 10 times a day, uh, which might sound like a lot, but the weekends are an important time because that's the time when people that are usually working can actually meet up with someone to sell a good or something like that. And they post it on the weekends, you know, all day long. And that's why I check a lot on the weekends. Now during the weekdays, I'll probably check Facebook Marketplace and Nextdoor and things like that about four to five times a day. But on the weekends, I definitely kind of double that up and I do find some really cool things. Okay, let's go thrifting. By the way, this morning got offered 75 bucks for those on eBay and I counter offered with $85 off of a $100 asking price. So uh, we'll see if the person buys that. Also got hit up locally for those too. Uh, for 60 bucks. So we'll see, you know, which one comes through the, f uh, the fastest, but these skates are in high demand. Any kind of roller skates that are halfway decent, really high demand. All right, first steps getting this Lynx and Kings bag to the uh, postman or woman or man. Here you go. Thanks, man. No problem. All right. Sweet. All right, as I walk into this Goodwill, just uh, got acceptance for the $85 offer for those skates. That was pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I guess I gotta box those up tonight and get them out tomorrow. So those $15 skates just sold for 85 bucks, less than a day. That's awesome. All right, I'm at this Goodwill. A little bit of outdoor items to bucks slash bikes to bucks, but these are some CD Genius uh, road biking shoes. And they got the carbon bottom as well. 10 bucks here usually sells between 75 and 100 dollars pretty quick yep put that in a little usps shoebox and you're off to go this morning on next door i saw a bike for 40 bucks i'm gonna pick it up here we go so yeah that bike was uh a next door ad this morning 40 bucks said it might need some work and i kind of disagree i think it just needs air in the tires and a quick little look over but uh this 40 dollar bike probably sell for around uh, 150, maybe 200-ish. It's on top of the car right now. There it is. It's a Raleigh. It's a Raleigh Record, and it's a pretty cool looking, uh, you know, 10-speed looking bike. Could be 12-speed, not sure yet. But it's in good condition. Front tire has been replaced. You can tell by the color of it. This one's got some cracking on it, but it might be salvageable. But yeah, 40 bucks. Turn that into about 150, 200 on a good sunny weekend. And uh, we're outside of a Salvation Army. I'll see if I can find anything in there. But yeah, not too bad of a hustling day so far. Okay, we're back at the Hustler Casa and it is evening time now. I'll probably list those CD shoes pretty soon, but something that probably will sell pretty soon as well is this Raleigh bike that I picked up about two or three weeks ago for, eh, more like three weeks ago, for 150 bucks. It was just classified as a Raleigh mountain bike. And uh, truth be told, it's actually a Raleigh Tokel uh, one which is a pretty good mountain bike. So um, Yeah, this thing will probably retail right now for right around 800 to a thousand bucks But since the COVID shortage and all that it's kind of hard to find sizes and everything This is an extra large and I uh, bought it for 150 and probably gonna resell it for cash 500 bucks. It's in great condition extra large It's a nice bike I already have my mountain bikes all lined up. Obviously, that's I ride much better things than this, but this is a good bike, and uh, I had to drop everything the day that I bought this to get this under my uh, wing and put it in my inventory because to me it represented over three hundred dollars in profit. So if everything goes right today, should be able to you know eke out about three hundred fifty dollars in profit on this bike right here, which is cool. Some more bikes to bucks, of course. And that road bike that I picked up earlier today for forty bucks um, inflated the tires, gear shifted fine, tires are holding air. It's pretty nice. I'll probably clean it up real quick. It'll take about five or 10 minutes and I'll probably post that tomorrow for 200, maybe 250. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. But today this will be the really awesome sale. All right. I want to end the video here because I want to open up another vlog. But if you enjoyed this uh, video and you learned a couple things or whatever, then hit the like button, put a comment down below and I'll see you on the next Bonafide Hustler video. Take it easy. Goodbye.